you're pretty successful in CrossFit, I think. So um, you. <laughs> you've gotten really close to coming to the games, and I, I know have. it's been tough. And so, <laughs> and I, and so, how do, how does your mindset like? What's going on with your mindset when like that something happens? Like, do you persevere to like get better, or like w what have you been working on to kind of, you know, hump get over that hump to get to the games? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, um, <laughs> two years ago was supposed to be my last year of competing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and that, or at least the last year that I went, you know, all out for the games. Yeah. Um, and I got so close that, um, honestly, my natural reaction is to like, there's a part of me that's just like, you know, mad, frustrated, you know, like, all right, it just is so motivating for me. Like, all right, now I'm going to just go hit it 10 times harder and like, make sure I make it the next time. Um, and it didn't really work out that way. I ended up with a shoulder injury, yeah. um, that I sustained at the end of that season that, you know, so like last season didn't go the way that I wanted it to. Um, and this year our priorities are shifting. Um, and so there's part of me that's like, feels like there's unfinished business. Like there's a, some frustration that, that, um, I didn't get to check that box. Um, but there's also part of me that's really excited for all of the other things that I have planned for my life that I've put on holds, you know, to chase my dream of going to the CrossFit games. Um, and, and those things I'm really excited for also. So there's, Definitely, I think this is going to be a process for me um, of like finding that balance. Every time I, um, every time I I hit one of those points where I like, I'm just too competitive, you know, like I don't like losing, you yeah. know, I'm driven yeah. to compete, mm -hmm. um, and it just makes me, you know, like it just makes me more motivated to win, and I just want to hit the gym and you know lock myself in the gym and train my face off until I'm, <laughs> you know, um, yeah. um, but at the same time, like I have to recognize that there are other things that I want in my life that, yeah. you know, you don't get spending six hours a day in the gym. No, <laughs> no, so, no. <laughs> um, but, yeah. But you did play 17. I, I believe I, I looked at the, I looked at your leaderboard. Okay. So, <laughs> it, so it said you were 17th last year worldwide for the 35 to 39 age oh mate yeah i honestly i don't even know what i was in the age groups <laughs> come on so you so do you so do you, do you know do you, would you want to go into masters or do you want to actually go for like the you know i i'm not saying you're not elite but like to the you for know sure. the, the the elite yes. group like because because I, I have a feeling like you know, maybe the better option is to go masters. Cause I know you have like the seminar staff yeah. and you got, you married yeah. and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm not trying to tell you what <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm just saying like, like, have you thought about doing masters this year at all? hundred percent. No. And okay. I honestly, like, I love the game so much. Like, yeah, for sure. I'm competing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's not going to stop. I, um, and I'll, I'll throw my hat into the ring in the masters division. Um, I think that, trying to compete in the open division. Um, you know, I've cut back on my training time, yeah. um, to pursue career things and spend time with family. So, um, we'll see how fit I am. Um, given the new life priorities, mm -hmm. um, I'm not putting a ton of pressure on this year in particular, just because there have been a lot of life changes and I'm still kind of like, getting my feet underneath me and finding the right rhythm. And I think there will be some iterating and, um, you know, that kind of stuff that needs to happen. But, um, I, I can't turn off the, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the part of me that just loves to compete. Um, I, I, I'll compete forever, you know, I yeah. participate in the open. Um, I'll, I'll see where it is. Um, I actually did have a conversation with Hunter, um, so so uh, Hunt, so Hunter is the, uh, one of the coaches at Misfit Athletics if for yes. all the all the listeners so <laughs> Yeah, Hunter is um, one of the main coaches at Misfit and he's uh, my personal coach. So um I work with him 
individually. And um, he, uh, we had a conversation a few months ago. I will, I don't, I'm kind of almost hesitating to put this out there in the world, but maybe <laughs> I probably should. Um, I, I basically said like, okay, look, I'm going to tell you this once and then we're not going to talk about it anymore where it's going to like, um, you know, but I, at some point I want to win the master's division. Um, I want to go to the games and I want to win the master's division. Um, doesn't have to be this year or next year, but that's a long-term goal. And now that I've said it, we're not going to talk about it anymore. <laughs> so just, you know, <laughs> yes, yes, where I'm headed and now I'm going to take all the pressure off myself and not think about it again. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it will not be on YouTube forever anymore. Right, so right, right. after this, yeah, so I'm just recording. I'm going to delete this. So it's not, yeah. I won't listen to this again. <laughs> <laughs> well that well that's awesome i mean i so when i first started doing crossfit i was 27 and now i'm like 40 now i'm 44 god it's crazy yeah uh, so so it was like when i was younger i'm like all right i'm all in let's go to the crossfit games and i didn't real i didn't realize like how much dedication it was to even yeah. attempt to do that because i was working a crazy emergency room job working work like being in the military as a reservist in the air force and then trying to train for that and then like i was married at the like i was like i was seriously dating somebody i didn't get married to it later on but i'm like yeah but i'm like man like i i would love to get in the mat like now being like 44 i'm like okay i can try to get into the master's division it would be mm -hmm. great but i'm like i there's a lot of holes i need to i need to work on so yeah. And yeah. my height, my height does not help me out either. So I just, I knew oh, that. Oh no. How tall so, are you? Six, six. Oh dang. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you can't really yeah. tell in like the videos that I post. You cannot. Or anything yeah. Like <laughs> I, I mean, you haven't seen the videos yet. Cause you just followed me like 10 minutes ago. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, but it's just like, like pull, like, so the gym that I go to, the pull-up bars are so low. So the yeah. bar is like almost like here mm -hmm. on me. So I can't get like the full extension right. to like butterflies, muscle oh, ups. So it's like deal. Yeah. Yeah. It's super hard. But like I could do handstand walking. I mean, that's yeah. it's just like the pull-up bar and like even like that's tough. E even like handstand push-ups too, to the point. Right. Cause like I have right. I got long arms. So yeah. it's gonna take me a lot longer. So yeah. but you know, just slowly working on those. Yeah, I know. I had a teammate uh, that year, 2019, that we went to Brazil. Um, Connor Schmidt, he was 6'4". And um, yeah, it was handstand pushups were like his kryptonite. It was just mm -hmm. like, he wasn't going to be able to move fast enough, you know, like, and, um, and then in Brazil, the pull-up bars were too short for him. You know, it was like he had his hand on the pull-up bar and his elbows are still bent and his feet are on the floor. Yeah. Um, and we were doing like synchro chest of bar. It was the most awkward, like strict chest of bar frog kip kind of thing. And it just blew him up. Oh, of course. Um, like yeah. so much more muscularly taxing. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's rough. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's hard. And especially like, yeah, it's, it was, it's difficult, but like the weight, like I, me lifting weights, it's like easy. No problem. There you go. Yeah. So no, no problem. <laughs> That's like the one benefit. But, um, I do remember watching a video on misfit where it was like a bunch of the athletes and you were the first person to be on that video of doing that snatch complex. I'm like, I was like, damn, she moves so good. It like, it like when you <laughs> walked out and squatted at the bottom, I was just like, wow. That was impressive. Thank and you. then like, and then like later on, like you see Xander and then, you know, you see me and I'm, I do like a, almost a power snatch and I'm like, just like, play a little <laughs> place. And I'm like, God, like the, the one video you guys post on misfit athletics, it's like, it has to be this one and compared to like anything else. I'm like, come on guys.